What if the key to our renewable energy future lies not in the wind, sun or waves, but in the most abundant element in the universe, hydrogen? This isn't a pipe dream, but a potential reality. Hydrogen, the lightest and most abundant element, has an energy content by weight that is three times higher than petroleum. This makes it an ideal candidate for renewable energy. However, as with all great potentials, there are challenges to overcome. Hydrogen production, as it stands today, is a double-edged sword. On one side, it holds the promise of a cleaner, more sustainable future. On the other, it poses significant barriers that have slowed its adoption as a mainstream energy source. The production of hydrogen, particularly from water electrolysis, is a high-cost process and the corrosive nature of the process makes it a daunting task. Water electrolysis, which involves the splitting of water into hydrogen and oxygen, is a promising method for hydrogen production. However, it requires materials that can withstand the harsh, corrosive conditions of the process. Traditionally, these materials have been expensive, such as titanium, significantly driving up the cost of hydrogen production. Moreover, the corrosion resistance needed for these materials to survive the electrolysis process is paramount. Without it, the materials degrade, and the efficiency and longevity of the hydrogen production process are compromised. The cost and corrosive nature of the process have been significant roadblocks in the path of hydrogen's promise as a renewable energy source. However, the winds of change may be blowing. The landscape of hydrogen production could be on the cusp of a significant shift. A revolutionary development is on the horizon, one that could potentially reduce material costs, increase corrosion resistance, and ultimately make hydrogen production from renewable sources more affordable. But what if a revolutionary development could change the game for hydrogen production? This question may soon become a statement. A statement of a future where hydrogen takes its rightful place as a key player in our renewable energy landscape. Enter SSH2 Steel, a groundbreaking development by scientists at the University of Hong Kong. An innovation that would change the face of hydrogen production industry, carving out a path of cost effectiveness and superior corrosion resistance. This new breed of stainless steel was birthed from the ambitious Super Steel project, a testament to human ingenuity and relentless pursuit of progress. The Super Steel project, as its name suggests, is no ordinary endeavor. Its aim? To revolutionize the steel industry by creating a Super Steel that not only exhibits high corrosion resistance, but also brings potential applications for green hydrogen production from seawater. A tall order, you might say, but as the saying goes, where there's a will, there's a way. In their quest to develop this steel of the future, the team employed a unique approach, a strategy they called sequential dual passivation. This method was the brainchild of countless hours of research, testing and refining. It was a strategy designed to prevent corrosion in chloride media to an ultra-high potential of 1700 millivolts. Imagine taking a stroll along the beach, the salty sea air filling your lungs. That's salty air, that's chloride. Now imagine a material that could withstand that corrosive environment, not just for a day, a week or a year, but indefinitely. That's the power of sequential dual passivation. It's like a protective shield guarding the steel from the relentless attack of chloride. The development of SSH2 steel wasn't just about creating a new type of steel. It was about pushing the boundaries of what's possible, about challenging the status quo, and about daring to dream of a future where hydrogen production is not only sustainable, but also affordable. This innovative strategy led to the creation of a steel that could withstand extremely corrosive environments, a game changer for hydrogen production. SSH2 steel is not just a scientific marvel, it's a beacon of hope for the world of renewable energy. Step into the realm of groundbreaking innovation where the University of Hong Kong has developed a stainless steel christened the SSH2 that's promising to turn the tides in hydrogen production. What makes it so special, you ask? Well, this isn't your everyday stainless steel. It's a super steel offering superior corrosion resistance that puts it in a league of its own. Now, corrosion resistance might not sound like a big deal, but let's put it into perspective. We're talking about hydrogen production from seawater. And what do we know about seawater? It's packed with chloride, a notorious agent of corrosion. 
but SSH2 steel laughs in the face of chloride thanks to a unique sequential dual passivation strategy that shields it from corrosion, even at an ultra-high potential of 1,700 millivolts. But that's not all. SSH2 steel isn't just tough, it's also cost-effective. Titanium, the reigning champion in corrosion resistance, comes with a hefty price tag. But SSH2 steel offers a performance that rivals titanium at a fraction of the cost. How much of a fraction? We're talking about cutting the cost of structural material by about 40 times. That's no small change. The potential applications of SSH2 steel stretch far and wide across the landscape of renewable energy. But its true promise lies in green hydrogen production from seawater. It's not just about making hydrogen production more affordable, it's about making it more accessible, more sustainable and more efficient. The promise of SSH2 steel extends beyond the lab. It has the potential to revolutionize the industry. Imagine a world where hydrogen production is not only sustainable, but also affordable. A world where one revolutionary material could drastically transform the landscape of renewable energy. That's the potential of SSH2 steel. This groundbreaking stainless steel developed by scientists at the University of Hong Kong is set to revolutionize hydrogen production. It's a material with a purpose, a substance that could be a game changer in the quest for sustainable energy solutions. The innovation here lies in the steel's superior corrosion resistance and cost effectiveness, especially when compared to titanium. SSH2 steel could significantly reduce material costs in water electrolyzers, the devices used to split water into hydrogen and oxygen. This process is crucial for hydrogen production from renewable sources, but until now it's been a costly affair, with expensive materials like titanium often being used. The new stainless steel, SSH2, is a different beast altogether. It performs just as well as titanium in saltwater electrolyzers. But here's the kicker, it's much cheaper. We're not talking a few dollars here and there. The use of SSH2 steel could cut the cost of structural material by about 40 times. Yes, you heard that right, 40 times. But how does it achieve this? The team behind the project used a strategy they call sequential dual passivation. This technique prevents corrosion in chloride media to an ultra-high potential of 1700 millivolts. The result is a steel that's not only durable but also incredibly cost-effective. The implications of this are huge. The introduction of SSH2 steel could make hydrogen production from renewable sources more affordable. It could democratize access to renewable energy, making it a viable option for more people and businesses around the world. SSH2 steel might just be the key that unlocks the full potential of hydrogen as a renewable energy source. The journey of SSH2 steel is far from over. As we stand on the precipice of a new era in sustainable energy production, the team behind this revolutionary steel is tirelessly working towards its industrial applications. They're not just dreaming of a greener future, they're actively shaping it. The potential of SSH2 steel in hydrogen production from renewable sources is immense. It promises a cost-effective, corrosion-resistant alternative to titanium. A change that could revolutionize the industry and make green hydrogen accessible on a much larger scale. But the path to commercialization is not without its challenges. The team is currently in the process of securing patents in numerous countries, a crucial step in protecting their innovation and ensuring its widespread adoption. What we're witnessing here is more than just the birth of a new material. It's the dawn of a new chapter in our energy story.